what's going on, Dragon Brawlers? Scott Sedman here for London Players Guild, bringing you a fresh off the presses SPR power ranking. This is it's a simple video where I'm going to take the art and look at it and just be like, yeah, this is my favourite card and we're going to rank them. It's, it's a thing and you can let me know in the comments below your rankings or which ones you prefer. So let's get straight into it. Number 10 is Cell. Yeah, I just, I'm not vibing with the whole hand and waving. I get that it's meant to symbolise movement and that it's more to give the card some character, but it just doesn't look that great. It's pretty, pretty boring. you got like a green and yellow background and it's like, ah, cool, you got a bit of grit on there, but it looks like it's just someone's Photoshop texture, the background, and put Cell as a PNG in there. Uh, unfortunately this I think it'll look better in person like when and it'll pop but just for me as the art is it's the my least favorite of the new SPRs. Number nine is Royal Condamnation. Now the uh, the only reason this is above cell is just because of how awesome Vegeta looks in this like he looks powerful he looks stoic he's got his muscles popping his hair is flowing it's beautiful but again we're seeing that that the red and blue background that just looks textured in Photoshop. It's it's it, it, and then you've got the arm thing. I, it just doesn't work for me. I think if it works for you, that's amazing. But in, like it just doesn't. So that's unfortunately number nine for me. Number eight, our first super combo of the SPRs. There wasn't too much to say about this one. It's nice that you can still see his absorption dot on his hand, Jiro the super combo for yellow and green I guess. It's it's a tough one, I think I think again this is one of them that harkens back to the set 5, set 6 SPRs we've seen with like the silhouettes and the gold highlights and I think this one again based in person I think this could maybe jump a couple of spots but as of just artwork on a JPEG format he, he just comes in at number 8 and like, there's not much more to say about it other than it's nice that Dr. Jiro gets some love as an SPR. I think that's a common theme with all of these SPRs, to be honest, is like they've picked some pretty good characters to get given SPRs. Number seven is Full Power Freezer. 100% overdrive. Uh, yeah, I I like this one more than the others with the hand movement, like swish coming in, but again, it, it, I am going to sound like a dead horse. I just don't like it. And I... I get where they're going from it because say how the SPRs where it seemed like they were moving position didn't quite work but it also came off quite cool it, like, it looked like you could see different angles of the characters and stuff whereas this is just hand movements and it kind of looks a bit it looks like someone just left two layers over that being said when you actually focus on the freezer his art looks awesome he's doing it he's doing it I think it's the attack he does against Goku when he just goes hey when Goku gives him some power and he's just like die not much to really write home about it's it's a number seven for me number seven it's not a bad SPR I, f I don't think this one improves too much if you see it in person so generic seven spot it's a seven star you know it's cool it's whatever number six now this one was a tough one I was debate like number six and number five I'm I went back and forth on um, purely just because they're quite similar in the use of their green uh, energy ball but I had to put Android 18 at number 6. And I, I, I feel bad doing it. And I think he could interchange what, what's number 5 and what's number 6. But for me personally, again, I just... I like it a lot, actually. I think it gives a lot of character to 18. She's doing an attack. And you've got a nice focus on the attack. We don't really get too much focus on attacks in SPRs. Which is like... Yeah, okay, cool. But like... Oh, like these are iconic characters. I want to see them doing Kamehameha's and Energy Ball Blitzes. I think that's Energy Blitz. Oh, Bionic Blitz is the name of the card. So, no, but I think it is Energy Blitz the attack. I'm not too sure. Correct me in the comments. I'm sure somebody will know that. But the gold and the black, it just works so well. It's such a good color scheme for the SPRs. Uh, the blue really pops and I really like it. And, it. and this is the thing. Like if it was the green and yellow, uh, sorry, the blue and yellow backgrounds as we've seen with like the red and blue cards, I don't think it'd be as interesting. But 
because it's black, it's got a lot of negative space. I really like it, and I love how they use the blacks to like give her hands depth. It, it's just really cool. The use of shadows is fantastic. 18 just looks great in most of her card arts. Like she's one of the characters who gets to gets a bit of fanfare, I think. So yeah. So some number six is number uh, uh, number six is 18. But again, she could be number five. It just genuinely depends on how the cards look in person. But based on JPEGs, coming in at number five is Zamasu. And you can tell why 18 and Zamasu are back-to-back -back and interchangeable. They just look amazing. Like, the way Zamasu's green looks in contrast to his attack. But it also works well with the with the art itself, I, I love it, and the way his um, outfit pops with the black and gold, again, well, I think it's just one of those things in this card game, black and gold just works so well for them, I, I, I wish he was posed a bit better, I think there could be some improvement with like maybe shrinking that attack and featuring Zamasu a bit more, but I, as a card, I just love this artwork, and we'll see in person, the, the, the rankings might swap, when we see them in person, like I can see 18 and Zamasu maybe swapping, but for now Zamasu is number 5. Next up is number 4, which is cooler, and yes, I know, I know I've been harping on about the, ah, oh, the arm swish thing doesn't work for me, but ah, oh, this just, this, oh, I love it, I love it. I don't know why, it, this one just screams like it works for me. It feels almost like uh, a, a, an American Patriot poster, and I don't know why I get those vibes. It's probably the red, white, and blue, um, but I don't get it with the freezer one. It's weird. I just there's something about it that reminds me of Uncle Sam, and I don't think that's intentional at all. Uh, but I, yeah, I, I, it's cooler. Cooler gets an SPR, and I love it. I love it so much. Um, there's not too too much to say on it because I've gone over the whole hand thing. Other than, yeah, I just love Cooler getting SPRs. Can we give Cooler all SPRs? Like, more Meta Cooler SPRs, please? Yeah, I think it's the highest rated SR, to be honest, because the next three are Super Combos. Speaking of number three, we got Nappa. Yeah, now, th this one's amazing. This is just fantastic through and through. Again, you've got the contrast of the black and gold. He's got his Saiyan armor, and it looks beautiful. It looks beautiful. Uh, a nice big red energy attack. It just, oh... There's nothing wrong with this SPR. It is literally. I get. I get. I'm gonna say it's top three for this set, but it's easily in my top ten SPRs of all time. I think all of these are. But yeah, I. I, I just. I, this is fantastic. Huge fan of Nappa. Uh, I just. It's. It's more love for Nappa, a character that I think kind of is the jerk, and I think that's more to do with Dragon Ball Abridged. But he's awesome, and it, he's on full display here. He looks badass. He looks very badass. Number two. Again, this is a similar situation to 5 and 6. Number 2 and 1 I went back and forth on. And it literally was just personal preference of the character. Which put number 1 as number 1. And I'm sure you can figure out which one it is. Based on the SPR you haven't seen. But number 2 is Whis. The only problem I have with this SPR is it looks a bit off. Like, if you look where his staff and his body posture is, it's great. But then you look down and his legs and it's just slightly over the, 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 the bottom there with the power. And it just... Mm. It's not a, like it's minor detail. No one can really. I don't think it ruins the card at all. It's at number two for a reason. Like I love how his hair goes into the combo area. It just uses the card so well. Uh, it's a fantastic artwork. We finally gets an SPR. Another great choice to put a character in the SPR. Uh, using his staff, looking badass. That's what Angel should be, and it's a really good super combo. I know that doesn't come into this because it was just purely basing on what they look like. But yeah, uh, Whis number two, hands down, he, again, in my top favourite, top 10 super combo, uh, no, in my top 10 SPRs. And that leaves number one, which is Beerus. Of course it's Beerus. Uh, this card's fantastic. You've got the gold highlights of his armbands. You've got the nice black shading coming up into his ears from his attack. It's a bit, it's a Hakai, I believe. I believe it's Hakai he's doing. Uh, you've got all of these nice purples popping off. We don't really see purples pop off too much in Dragon Ball, so seeing an SPR in purple, it's gonna look oh, it's gonna look so good. Um, it feels like he's a badass in this. Uh, there's not much more to say on it. It is just an immaculate looking card. This is easily my top five SPRs of all time, but it is number one for set nine. 
yeah, I, I honestly, I'm in love with this card. I want four of them. If anyone can make it happen, I'll happily trade others. So SPR super combos for him. I'll be at the Salford uh, tournament. Please come up to me with Beerus's and be like, here you go, it's got on a blight. Why, thank you. Uh, nah, that aside, this is a really great set. I think SPRs just continue to improve and improve. They always do something different, and I hope Bandai keep that up because the change of SPRs always makes it more interesting. Like with Womack, we saw the tag teams, and with Tournament of Power, we saw the signatures. And you know what I mean? Every time Bandai experiments and brings in a new SPR, I can't help but get excited. For me, the hand waving ones to try and convey immersion don't work, but we're also got we've also got super combos which so work. Oh my god, they look so beautiful. And yeah, I think this is one of gonna, these these SPRs are gonna look so good in person. Let me know your order. There's ten of them. It's not it's not hard. Just put them in the comments below. Uh, let me know what you would have liked to have seen get in an SPR. I feel so upset that they've done Jiren Dirty. They've done Boo Dirty. Bandai, what's your problem? You've given me two Boo SPRs before. I wanted a third one to go with it. You've upset me. Nah, you've not. It's it's fine. It's fine. It's not. It's fine. Is it? I don't know. We'll find out. No, I genuinely do love this card game, guys. Please leave your support. Give us a like. Give us a comment. Subscribe. We do have Patreon. We have a website where we sell some player mats. Uh, and yeah, I'll just see you in Salford, I guess. Uh, let me know what you think. Bye. Number... Yes. It's number seven. I forgot what number it is. That can go at the end of the video because I forgot it. Uh, number we, seven. We've seen him get some love in the card game. We've got an SS3 napper from Heroes. We've got... Uh, he's in the secret rare, isn't he? No, he's not. I'm a liar. He's not. Well, he... Ah, shit. I don't know. I don't know where this is going. Cut this. Put it at the end. Yeah.